Greetings Zombie Slayers, Sleepy Jim here. Today we are playing an awesome map called 420 Laboratories. This one is one I've had downloaded for ages, absolute ages, but I've never got around to properly playing it. I've only tested it and ran around the starting area a little bit. So we'll try and beat this map today and we'll have the difficulty mod enabled, of course. And for those of you guys that aren't familiar with the ZCT mod, basically there are like teleporting zombies, quite difficult and challenging zombies in the later stages and also you get perk drops uh special perk drops off the zombies as you go through so someone has actually asked me to ex do a video on those uh, zct perks and explain what they what they'll do and uh looks like you start off with a couple of perks in this now if you shoot that target up there i've noticed that it does unlock a beagle that you can grab off the wall where that question mark is so we'll grab that in a second we've unlocked that now see what we get here. Armor regen. So that's basically like the equivalent of Jug almost. Uh, if you look down on the bottom left of the corner, you'll see that there's like uh, a health and an armor. Um, so we got the Deagle there. And basically that just regens your armor much more quickly if you get hit and it goes down like you see it is at the moment. Might actually... Uh, let's have a look. So we've got a quick rebuilding. That's a fairly self-explanatory one. Um, what other guns have we got in here? Okay, we'll grab this Uzi. Just so I can build up some more points. Because you do need a lot of points in this map, apparently, to open up all the areas and stuff like that. I don't know how big it is, but um, we'll soon find out. And apparently, from my understanding, um, I hate those zombies. They spawn in behind you like that. It's super annoying when you're trying to camp like I am here. Just before I head up, I might uh, actually buy some more ammo back for this thing. Cool. Ooh, what did we get there? Quick revive, sweet. So that acts exactly like or very similar to the quick revive in Black Ops in that if you die, even in solo, it will revive you again. Unfortunately, it's not quite as good as all that because usually the zombies are just there and it instantly revives you. So if you're in a big horde of zombies, they'll usually kill you again straight away as soon as you get revived. So as you can see, there's a bit of a weed theme going on in this map. I'm just having a look around because apparently like the objective of this map is to um, set off a bomb or defuse a bomb or something like that. And you have to find parts for the bomb. What's this? Huh. Well, that might be the mystery box opening up there for us. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Let's see if we can camp here a little bit and hit the box. See what guns we've got. I know the uh, ZCT crew usually put some awesome guns in their in their maps. Let's hit this and see what we get. The Scorpion. <laughs> Not what I was hoping for. Wow, this thing really sucks. We've got the nuke there if I need it. Oh my god, guys. This is my favorite all-time zombies gun ever. Including... All versions of Call of Duty, <laughs> official and unofficial maps. This thing is amazing. Like, uh, it doesn't use any ammo, it just has a cooldown cycle. I might actually get that M1014 because then I can buy ammo for it off the wall. Let's see what's through here. So we got a catwalk of some sort. And I don't know where these parts are that I've got to, that I've got to collect to beat this map. I think they spawn randomly. And I'm not too sure how many parts there are either, but if we just look around everywhere, hopefully we'll come across them. I think I think they might glow. Or sub Actually, what's this here? C4. Okay, cool. That must be one, one part for it. So we obviously set off a bomb or something if we're picking up C4. Okay, stopping power. Again, that's a fairly self-explanatory perk. There's a couple of, there's only really a couple of perks that, that uh, need explaining that are a bit out there, if you know what I mean, from what we're used to. There's another one down there, I don't know if I'll be able to go down and get that one. But yeah, this laser cold is awesome, guys. It doesn't take any ammo, it just has a cooldown, and if you like, just, you know, uh, lightly tap the trigger, you can pretty much keep it cool the whole time and still mow down the zombies. Oh, it's just the uh, teddy bear. Yeah, so what that does is it it um, basically sets off the oxygen defense barriers, and that's like a trap. Um, 
It doesn't kill the zombies like a regular electric barrier trap would, but um, it makes like the zombies reduce to almost insta-kill health if they go through the barrier. You can see it down the end of the corridor here, doing its thing. Endurance, cool. So again, that's a little bit like stamina, that perk. And uh, if you go to the ZCT website, guys, they have a list of all the perks pretty much there and, and what they do, more or less. It can be a little bit tricky to find that, but the information is there as well. Uh, this is back where we were before, isn't it? Self-defense. Now, this is one that's maybe not quite so clear what it does. And what this one does is if the zombies hit you, uh, it does them damage. And that can be useful, but it can also be annoying because if you're trying to keep a crawler and you accidentally touch the crawler, the crawler can die from it. It's actually a bit like the Thorns enchantment in Minecraft, for those of you guys that play Minecraft. That they've brought in fairly recently. Wow, you can just see how good this thing is, guys. I'm probably not going to need another gun in the entire game now. I've got this. It is just that good. I hate it how you can't actually damage these zombies while they're invisible. It's really, really annoying because they still block you off. Ooh, max ammo. That's helpful. I don't know where I'm going here, guys. I'm just looking around for these parts that I've got to get. There must be another area that we haven't opened up. We've certainly got enough points now. Um, take another look up here. So I'm fairly certain that I didn't miss anything up here. What's this though? Okay, we'll buy that. That's unlocked a barrier somewhere for us. So let's try and find that area of the map. I get a feeling this is probably a pretty big map, actually. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, what's down there? <coughs> cool. Oh, barrels. Um, nothing in the corners here. Can't buy that. Maybe it opens from the other side. <laughs> Gotta love this. Um, should we get this? Yeah, we'll get it. Why not? This area looks reasonably easy to hold off in. Um, okay, we can buy that. Let's buy that door. Whoa! So is there another part for the bomb? We got a mystery box down here. Those gold zombies are the absolute worst. If it wasn't for them, like, it would be so much easier. Okay, we've got increased melee damage. Like, this, uh, this perk, like, it would be a one-hit kill, like you can see right here. It's like a one-hit kill with a knife, even at this, uh, this stage of the game. Obviously, we've got uh, time gameplay going, but... I would say it's the equivalent of probably about round 7 or 8, maybe at this point. Um, can't see anything in there. Wow, this is super dark down here. I do not want to get stuck in this, in this area. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Um, that's a dead end there. Not good. Okay, what's this down here? Huh. I need a detonator, so that must be where we plant the stuff. I must have every single perk now, guys. I think, um... Yeah, I think the first one that we started with was, uh, armor, was um, ammo regen. Which is one of the best ones, in my opinion, depending on the game that you're playing. It's obviously not too useful for us with this gun. Okay, so I must be missing another area here somewhere. Should we get that teddy bear? Let's get the teddy bear. 
Okay, so yeah. Where is this detonator that we need? Actually, looking in the bottom left there, I can see that there's um there's a little thing that says bomb parts. So yeah, only the two parts to collect in this map, which isn't so bad. It's not like um if I could find them. Um, let's try hitting this question mark. Okay, that that opens something. I was gonna say it's not like uh, ZM Mars where there's like dozens of things you have to collect to get that goddamn spaceship to take off. 